Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. I'm sharing with you my passion of learning. Probability is all about uncertainty. We'll talk about it, just like this weather. Now it is autumn, leaves are falling. There is some snowfall, we don't know. What's going to happen tomorrow? Will it rain? Will it snow? Or what? Well, some probability questions may be easy to answer, but difficult to calculate. Here is one example, and let us see how to use calculator and our calculations to get the answer easily. I hope you enjoy this. I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question on probability based on counting principles. Now this is a popular question in many test papers where calculator is allowed. And uh, so you can also expect this in new format for SAT. The main idea of sharing this question here is to avoid calculator error when we calculate such big numbers, right? I do have videos where same question has been solved using students less than 40. So everywhere, most of the time, you will see that the number of students are less than 40. 40 is kind of critical number for such questions. You will soon realize why. So let's get into the question now. Okay. So whenever there is a probability question, we think about total options which we have. So there are 365 days and 40 students. So it is 365 to the power of 40. So that is the total number of options. The answer will be at least two students share will be one minus probability of A, right? So that's the whole idea. To find the total number, the first student has 365 choices. Now, once that is done, we're left with 364. Once that is done, we're left with 363 and so on. Perfect. So this is for all 40. So we'll have this for 40 students. Perfect. Which I could write in permutation form as out of 365, we are selecting 40 items. Correct. Any 40 days. That is what you get. And therefore, the probability for A, which is unique birthdays, will be 365 P40, which is N of A, divided by N of S, which is 365 to the power of 40. Now, the problem here is that as soon as I do 365 to the power of 40 and calculate, I get math error, right? So, so I cannot really calculate this answer. So that's a huge problem. How do I do that? So, so we are, what we are left with is to simplify this portion. So if you simplify, what you realize is that this could be written as, uh, you know, this number 365 and 365, both are in the denominator. Perfect. Is that clear? So, so think like this. I could write this as 365 times. Now we are left with 364 P39. So I've already taken one here. And in the denominator, I could write this as 365 times 365 to the power of 39. Does it make sense to you? Now, this is a key step. So we cancel these 365s. And what we remain with is 364 P39 in the numerator divided by 365 to the power of 39. You get an idea. Now, that number is not that large, and you can use calculator to find it. Perfect. So, that is the probability of unique birthdays. So, this is A is unique birthdays. So, let's find our answer. That is the probability of at least two common birthday, which is 1 minus all this, which is 364 permutation 39. 365 to the power of 39, right? So that is what it is. So let's calculate everything in one shot. So we get 1 minus 364 P39 
divided by 365 to the power of 39 equal to. So we get a number which is 0 0.89123 and so on. Do you see that also? So we are able to calculate which is almost 89%, right? So 89%. Do you see that? It's very highly likely, perfect, almost 90% chances that in a class of 40, two students will have birthdays on the same day, at least, right? There could be more number of days where students may share their birthday. So I hope you understand and appreciate from where it is coming. Sometimes it becomes difficult to directly calculate values using your calculator and these test questions could be answered if you could simplify a bit and then use calculator. So that's the whole idea. I hope that helps. It's been an excellent experience of uploading videos on YouTube and getting response for thousands of students all over the world. Your inputs and feedback give me new energy to come up with some questions which could be of use to you. For us, there is no end. We need to go on. Well, now it's the springtime, the autumn, but the winter is soon coming. These snowfalls and chilly weathers are not going to stop us. So let's take a pledge of sharing and learning. Thanks. Here we have a very inquisitive and passionate person to learn. You see how they come closer and closer when they find something worthwhile to share. That is how the life is and I love it. Their inputs and feedbacks feed me with positive energy and I love to give them back to you. That's what we are all about. Let's share and learn from our experiences. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for watching my videos and posting excellent questions. Thank you once again.